Hello, I'm Harold Moret with Copper Development Association. For nearly 100 years, Copper has earned recognition as the quality leader for service and longevity. Copper piping products provide reliable performance, standing the test of time, and supporting the construction of buildings. Copper is easy to recycle without degradation. Before we can begin installing any copper piping system, we have to be sure we're using the right copper material for the job. Today, Ron Gamusio is joining me to go over the types of copper piping products available. Welcome, Ron. Hi, Harold. Thanks for having me. Can you tell us the difference between copper water tube and copper pipe? Also, what are the designations? This is sometimes confusing. Sure, I'll be happy to do so. I will also let you know what applications they are best used for. Okay, so where do we begin? Let's begin with copper tube. Sizing is based on type rather than pipe schedule. This is to maintain difference between copper water tube and copper pipe. These examples will help you with identification and sizing of tube versus pipe. Copper tube designate as type K, L, or M refers to copper water tube. These are produced to the American Society of Testing Material Standard. It outlines the requirements of copper tube types K, L, and M tube designate standard nominal size from quarter inch to 12 inch. The actual outside diameter is always an eighth of an inch larger than the standard designation. So what do the different types represent? Each type, K, L, or M, represents a series of tube sizes with different wall thickness. Type K tube has the heaviest wall with type L being intermediate and type M being lightest. Seamless types K, L, and M tube are all produced as drawn or hard tempered straight length. Type K and L are also available in soft temper coils. Type M is not produced in soft temper. All copper tube is permanently marked with type, manufacturer's name, or trademark and country of origin. In addition to inside marking, drawn temper straight length will have this information printed every 18 inches. Type K is color-coded green, type L is blue, and type M is red. There are two other types of copper tube for you to be aware of. The first is DWV for drain, waste, and vent systems. Since their systems are low pressure, DWV tube walls are thinner. They are color-coded yellow. Type DWV is used for above and below ground waste, soil, and vent lines roof and building drains and sewers. The second is med gas tube for medical gas systems. Also nominally side, it is available in hard temper straight length only. Like copper water tube, medical gas tube is available in type K or L for different pressure applications. However, to maintain the utmost cleanliness of the medical gas distribution system, the med gas tube interior comes capped until it's ready to be installed. Keep in mind, copper water tube has many uses. These include domestic water distribution, fire protection, solar energy application, fuel and fuel oil distribution, natural gas, and LP distribution and refrigeration. Copper tube can be joined by various mechanical methods depending on the application and codes and regulation. So Ron, does that help clarify things for you? Yes, but what about copper pipe? Good question. Copper water tube is standard plumbing tube used in the U.S. Unfortunately, the tube is often mistaken for copper pipe. The distinction between copper tube and pipe is important because copper pipe is rarely used. It comes in standard iron pipe sizes or IPS and wall thickness scheduled to standard specification for seamless copper pipe standard sizes. Copper pipe is available in sizes from eighth of an inch to 12 inch. Wall thickness is designated as regular and asterisk strong. Copper pipe is produced in soft, light drawn, or hard drawn tempers. It can frequently be interchanged with tube. Copper pipe is generally joined by mechanical means such as threading, but it could also be welded and braced using the appropriate fitting and filler metal. But copper tube is still the most popular. Does that answer your question? It does, Harold. But now that I know the difference between copper tube and copper pipe, what about copper fittings? There are various copper fittings available for joining copper tube depending on the type of system. Like I mentioned earlier, there are many ways to join copper tube. 
but the most common is soldering and bracing using solder joint fittings. Rot fittings are available for both solder and brace applications. Fittings are produced to American Society of Mechanical Engineers standard for both solder and brace application. Because rot fittings are made under high pressure, they can withstand much higher pressures than the tube, so there is no different wall thickness types. Most copper alloy fittings are brass. Low lead and lead free brasses are now available. For drainage system, both rot and cast fittings may have a built in slope. These fittings are stamped with the letters DWB and manufacturer symbol. I hope that answers your question about copper fittings. Yes, thank you, Harold. Now I have a better understanding of the different types of tube, pipes, and fittings that are available. Well, thanks for being here. The Copper Tube Handbook will help you determine the right copper material to use for your design, installation, in all copper system. You can download a copy of the Copper Tube Handbook from our website at copper.org.